cohesive energy of BCC and FCC neon. So we're considering uh, this problem uh, on uh, BCC and FCC neon. In the first uh, part, we talked about the lattice sum for the BCC structure, and uh, we have calculated the uh, nearest neighbor based on the nearest neighbor distance and coordination number, second nearest neighbor and third nearest neighbor distance. Uh, the lattice sums and basically we have verified um, up to uh, an, a small error the values given in the problem statement that are substituted into the Leonard-Jones potential and we have determined that at equilibrium uh, we, we, we find that the equilibrium distance satisfies this equation and this equation and uh, this can be substituted into the Leonard-Jones potential to obtain the cohesive energy. Now we will repeat the same uh, exercise for the FCC structure. So for the FCC structure, the nearest neighbor uh, distance is the distance between an atom at the corner and at the face center. So it is a square root 2 over 2. And how many of those do we have? Well, we can see here, if you pick this uh, atom at the face center, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 nearest neighbors on this plane. And then we have uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 neighbors uh, on this plane. So those are the, uh, the ones at the face centers uh, in the... Uh, upper plane and then we have uh, 9, 10, uh, 11 and 12 uh, uh, for the ones at the lower uh, face centers. So you can see that we have a total of uh, 12 nearest neighbors. The number of nearest neighbors is 12. The second nearest neighbor distance for the FCC structure is A the lattice constant. So if you pick an atom at one of the corners, you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six nearest neighbors, uh, second nearest neighbors are available. So that's going to be six. Now, what is the uh, distance uh, between the uh, second near, nearest neighbors in terms of the nearest neighbor distance. So A is 2R over uh, square root 2, which, which means it's square root 2 times R. So we have square root 2 times R. Um, and for the third nearest neighbor distance, we have uh, a square root 3 over 2. So if you look at uh, this one here, this is connected to uh, the, this face center, this face center, and this face center with a distance A square root 3 over 2. That is for the, the unit cell I have labeled box 1. There is a box 2, box 3, box 4, box 5, and uh, there's going to be a box uh, six box seven and box eight so this is at the corner of eight boxes right so you can see uh, these are the ones at the uh, at the uh, upper plane and th there will be four other at the lower plane so there's going to be a total of eight boxes and in each box in, in each unit cell you basically have uh, three nearest neighbors so that gives you a total of 24 nearest neighbors. So third nearest neighbor distance is a square root 3 over 2 and the number of third nearest neighbors is 24 and uh, a square root 3 over 2 is basically square root 3 times r. All right now uh, Using this information, we can estimate the lattice sums. So we're going to have uh, sum over j not equal to i pij to the power minus 12 equal to. So for first nearest neighbors, coordination number is 12 to the power 12 times 1 to the power minus 12. 
And then uh, for second nearest neighbors, we have six of them. Then we have square root two times r, so square root two to the power minus 12. And then we have 24 third nearest neighbors, 24 times square root three to the power minus 12 and etc. So if you calculate this number, this is 12.127 plus higher order corrections and the exact value given in the problem statement is uh, 12.132. So it's pretty close. Now uh, for the other lattice sum, sum over j not equal to i, pij to the power minus 6, we have 12 times 1 to the power minus 6 plus 6 times square root 2 to the power minus 6 and plus 24 times square root 3 to the power minus 6 and higher order terms. Uh, this gives us a numerical value 13.639 plus higher order corrections. The exact value given in the problem statement is 14.454. All right, now we're ready to write the Leonard Jones potential U of R is equal to two number of atoms epsilon 12.132 sigma over r the nearest neighbor distance to the power 12 minus 14.454 uh, sigma over r to the power 6, the attractive uh, term. So that's the Leonard Jones potential for the FCC NEON. Now at equilibrium, we're going to have derivative of the potential with respect to R, du dr, evaluated at the equilibrium distance between atoms R0 should be equal to 0, that's equilibrium, the force should be zero. So that gives me 12.132 times uh, minus 12, sigma to 12, r zero to the power minus 11. And then I have minus 14.454 multiplied with minus six, sigma to six, r0 to the power minus 5. This is equal to 0. So uh, this gives me minus 145.584 sigma to 12 uh, plus 86.724 sigma to 6 r0 to the power 6 and this is equal to 0. You can see I have multiplied this equation with r0 to the power 11. Okay, so that gives me an equation for r0 to the power 6. r0 to the power 6 is 145.584 divided by 86.724 multiplied by sigma to the power 6. So this gives me r0 to the power 6 is equal to 1.679 sigma to the power 6. I can substitute that into the Leonard Jones potential to find the cohesive energy. It is 2 and epsilon. Now I have uh, 12.132 uh, now I'm taking the square of this quantity to find r0 to the power 12 and that gives me a coefficient 2.819 
uh, I have sigma to 12 divided by sigma to 12. Okay, so basically I have taken the square of this and substituted here for r0 to the power 12. And sigma to 12 obviously will cancel. And then I have the attractive term minus 14.454 divided by 1.679 sigma to 6 divided by sigma to 6 so these will uh, cancel so i have substituted for r0 to the power 6 here and uh, this gives me 2n epsilon 4.304 minus 8.304 six zero nine therefore i find that the cohesive energy is two and epsilon minus four point three zero five the one for uh, bcc was minus four point one one seven this is minus four point three zero five so that's the fcc answer now, the, ac the question actually asks me to find the ratio of the cohesive energies. Uh, the lattice sums are given. Calculate the ratio of the cohesive energies of neon in BCC and FCC structures. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, we have the answer for both cases. The cohesive energy for BCC case, which is the leonard Jones evaluated at r0 divided by the cohesive energy for the fcc case is the ratio of these uh, numbers because 2 and epsilon is the same it's going to be the ratio of 4.117 to 4.305 so it is 4.117 to 4.3 305 you can see that this is 0 0.956 so that's the answer to the question now you can see that the cohesive energy of uh, the fcc case is uh, in absolute value larger so it seems that the fcc neon is more stable compared to the bcc neon Okay, so in the second part of the problem, we looked at the FCC structure. Uh, first, we find the nearest neighbor distance, a square 2 over 2. That's the distance between an atom at the corner and at the face center. The second nearest neighbor distance is the distance between atoms uh, along, um, that are in adjacent corners. So th th that's going to be a, the lattice constant. So a is the lattice constant here. And the third nearest neighbor distance is a square root 3 over 2. It's the distance between an atom at the corner and uh, at the face center of the uh, at the face center of the plane that's going to be uh, on the other side. So if this is pl uh, plane 1, phase 1, this is phase 2, it's going to be on phase 2. Uh, and we can see that we have three of these uh, for one unit cell. And uh, for each atom, we can consider to be part of, uh, at the corner, eight unit cells. So basically, this scenario applies to eight unit cells here. Uh, so it's going to give us eight times three, 24. Uh, we have written these distances in terms of the nearest neighbor distance. And then we can calculate the lattice sums. So that is sum over j pij to the power minus 12 and to the power minus 6 so that is basically giving us uh, the lattice sum values which we can substitute into the leonard jones potential remember leonard jones potential is this um, it can be written in this form we have shown in the first part uh, so we can take the derivative of the Leonard Jones potential at the equilibrium distance, set it equal to zero. That gives us an equation for r0 to the power six. 
And if we take the square of this, we get R0 to the power 12, substituted into the Lenard Jones potential. We obtain the cohesive energy, and then we can take the ratio to find that the cohesive energy of the FCC uh, structure is actually uh, in absolute value greater. Uh, it's more negative, therefore, FCC structure is more stable.